In this lecture, we'll discuss about time and work. Now, time and work class sheet 1. So, class sheet 1 will have around 21 questions. So, all these 21 questions, I'll be uh, making this uh, video series will be on those 21 questions. Second uh, video, uh, after uh, these 21 questions are done, I'll be making videos on time and work class sheet advanced questions. That will be around 20 questions. On the board, you can see there are 27 formulae just for time and work. Now, I won't be using not even single formula will be used. Okay, we'll solve each and every question conceptually and without using any formula. Now, our basic method will be LCM method and I will show you how to use that method and then we'll solve many good questions without using any formula, right? The purpose of showing this formula is simple. I just want to make you understand the importance of learning concept. Don't just mug up these formulas. It is complete waste of time. Just think to yourself, just memorizing this 20 some formula for one chapter, it is completely worthless, right? This really makes your learning very difficult and you feel demotivated to learn maths, right? So let's get started. Our first question says, A can do a piece of work in 20 days, B can do the same work in 30 days, find in how many days both can do the work. Now, how can you do this? Do this? See this, 20, 30, I'll take 60, 3, 2, 5, so 60 by 5, 12, that's it. So your answer will be 12 days. Now see this, the way to solve LCM, uh, LCM method is A can do a piece of work in 20 days. So write 20 days here. B can do the same work in 30 days. Now see here, in the question, he didn't give the work. He didn't give the work, right? What is the work? So your work can be any number, any, any number, right? So here it says that A can do a piece of work. Similarly, B can do the same piece of work. That means work is constant here. You can assume any number, any number of units. Okay. Since work is not given, we can assume it. Now, the assumed work should be LCM of 20 and 30. I'll, I'll tell you the reason for that. Now, so let our total work be, what is the LCM of 20 and 30? Many people solve LCM like this, 20, 30, they will do like this, 10 goes 2 times, 3 times, don't go by this method, okay. Since these are easier numbers, you can do this way, but make sure you, you stop using this method, okay. I'll tell you how to solve LCM, see this, first of all, pick up the bigger number, out of 20 and 30, bigger number is 30, so pick up 30, write it in terms of factors, so 30 means 6 into 5, done. 6 into 5 means, again 6 means 3 into 2, so into 5, so we got this, 3 into 2 into 5. What you will do is, then next go to the next number, that is 20, 20 is nothing but 4 into 5, right? Now, see here, we have to take LCM this one, now, we are working on this part, this 5 is already there here, so don't take this 5, okay? You have to take only whichever number is missing, okay? Now, what is 4? 4 is nothing but 2 into 2. Here, already 1, 2 is there. So, this 2 and this 2, you need not take this 2, right? Because already 1, 2 is present here. What is missing? 1 more 2 is missing. So, just multiply that 1 more 2. That's it. So, your LCM is nothing but 60. Okay? 60 is your LCM. So, total work, I will assume as 60 units. 60 units. Done. Now, what you will do is... You draw lines like this. These are the places for writing efficiency. What is efficiency? Efficiency is nothing but work done per unit, unit time, right? Time can be hours, minutes, days, years, anything, right? So work done per certain time. Here you see, I'm saying efficiency is work done per. Wherever you get per, that is nothing but an average, right? So work done per time. Now, that is the efficiency. So efficiency you can understand like this, consider you yourself and your friend. So you can eat 10 chocolates per hour and your friend can eat 20 chocolates per hour, right? So that is your efficiency, your capability is nothing but efficiency. So 10 chocolates per hour, 20 chocolates per hour, you stress on that word per, 20 chocolates per hour, right? Uh, so, uh, the reason for asking you to stress on that pair is you will understand when I teach uh, mixture and allegations. Now, what is the efficiency? Efficiency is nothing but 
So this is not a formula. Don't mug it as a formula, right? Don't mug it up as a formula. Efficiency means what? Work done per unit time. So that is your every efficiency. What is the work? Your work is nothing but 60 units. Work is nothing but 60 units, right? Efficiency, work done per unit time. Now, what is the time A is taking to complete 60 units? It is taking 20 days. So you'll write 20 days, right? That's it. So that is the efficiency. So in one day, how much work he can complete? Three units, so, right? 60 by 23. That means A's efficiency is nothing but three units per day. That's it. Okay, three units per day. Now, see here, your efficiency is nothing but work by time. I told you work is taken, units of work is units. Let it be units here. Okay, units. What is time here? Time is nothing but days. So, your efficiency will be unit per days. Right? So, A can complete three units per day. So, here you write three. That's it. Okay. Now, you will understand the reason why I asked you to take this total work as LCM of 20 and 30. You should be understand by now. You should have understood by now. Why? Because you can take 70 also. Total work can be 7. Any number you can take. Right? But then I am asking you to take that work as LCM so that when you are finding efficiencies, how you are finding efficiency? You are dividing that work by time. So this, this division will give you an integral value. So if you are taking some other numbers, you will get fractions. So what is the disadvantage of fractions? Your fractions will take a lot of time for calculations. Your calculations will become easy with integer values, right? So to get integral values here, you have to assume your work as LCM of a given number of times here. Okay, done. So what is the efficiency of B? That means, see here, B can complete 60 units of work in 30 days. So in one day, how much work B can do? That is the efficiency of B. So when you read it like this, units of work that B can do per day is called efficiency. So here it will be 60 units in 30 days you will complete. So in one day B will complete 2 units. So 2 will be its efficiency. Done. Now your question is how much time it will take if both A and B together start doing that work. We assumed our total work is 60 units. Since A and B are working together, what is the combined efficiency? 3 plus 2 is 5. So your total work is 60 and your total efficiency is 5. So this will be 12 days. Now see here, I'll tell you the importance of these units here. See, what is the, that 60 there? 60 is the units, 60 units of work by what is the total efficiency? Total efficiency of A and B is 3 plus 2, 5. So 5, what is the units of efficiency? Efficiency units is units per time. So 5 units per day. This is the units of efficiency. So here your time is nothing but, I'm not using formula here, okay? Work by efficiency. Don't mug up this formula, okay? This is, don't mug up this as a formula, right? I'm telling you in a general sense. How will you calculate the time? total work by your efficiency. That's how you'll get time. And the proof is here. This is total work. This is efficiency. Units, units will get cancelled. 5 cancels 12 times. This days will go above. So it will become 12 days. That's it. Right? And now, that's why I'm saying don't memorize these formulas. Okay? Nothing. The formulas is not required. Just uh, it is a practical sense. Right? What is the time? Time is nothing but total work by efficiency. So efficiency is units by time and uh, total work is units. Units, units get cancelled and you will get days. This is nothing but time. So directly you will get your time is nothing but work by efficiency. You will get 12. That's it. So this is how you need to solve the question. Now I explain this question very slowly. Now if you are uh, practicing this, okay, uh, with those questions I will be explaining many questions, right? Uh, with practice, you will be very much comfortable solving the questions like this. Right? You will be able to solve the questions orally itself. Let's solve our next question. A, B, C can complete a piece of work in 24, 6 and 12 days respectively. 
working together they can complete the same work in how many days now you pause the video and try to solve this on your own 24 6 12 i can take lcm as 24 it will be 1 4 and 2 1 4 2 means 7 so wherever you get denominator 7 that will be your answer so answer will be option 3 3 3 by 7 days that's it okay so how much time did you take for this solving this question orally you are taking hardly 4 seconds not more than that right now see this a can complete a piece of work in 24 days b can complete in 6 days c can complete in 12 days now if they start working together in how many days the work will be completed this is your question now take the lcm of these things so if i take lcm what will be my total work here my total work so I'm, i told you the way to find lcm this one you can say orally lcm will be 24 but then let me show you how to uh, how to calculate lcm start with the bigger number 24 you can write it as 18 to 3 done next number is 12 next bigger number is 12 12 is nothing but 4 into 3 is 12 correct 4 into 3 is 12 3 is already there here so from this 4 into 3 you ignore this 3 why because 3 is already here similarly this 4 is there right already in 8 there is one 4 8 is nothing but 4 into 2 so already 4 is also there here so you can ignore this now come to the next number 6 6 is nothing but 3 into 2 okay 3 into 2 already 3 this 3 is there here okay already 3 is there so don't take this 3 now what about 2 2 is already there in 8 8 is nothing but 4 into 2 so you can ignore this as well so your lcm is 8 into 3 24 that's it so total work is 24 units done now what is the efficiency of a efficiency is nothing but total work by total time so your total work is 24 units and total days is 24 days now you convert this into long ways a can complete 24 units in 24 days so in one day what is the work a can do that is called efficiency right efficiency is nothing but work done per day or per hour or per minute anything like that right so here since the units everywhere is days so we take in days so we are calculating the efficiencies in days if there are hours here then we will calculate efficiency in hours now what is the efficiency of a efficiency of a is this one 24 by this one 24 is equal to 1 so one unit per day is the efficiency of a what is the efficiency of b it will be 24 by 6 which is 4 efficiency of c 24 by 12 which is 2 that's it so we got the efficiency of a as one unit per day b as four units per day and c as two units per day that's it since a b c are working together now what is the combined efficiency of a plus b plus c so a plus b plus c combined efficiency is one plus four plus two which is seven units per day okay this is the combined efficiency of a plus b plus c now can you tell me the time in which a plus b plus c together can finish the 24 units of work in how much time they can finish time is nothing but total work by total efficiency so your time time for a plus b plus c to complete this 24 units of work is 24 units by what is the efficiency here 7 units per day all this you need not write in exam just for your understanding i am writing it here units units get cancelled you will get 24 by 7 days 24 by 7 is nothing but this is an improper fraction so convert into mixed fraction so 7 3 is a 21 balance will be 3 that's it 3 3 by 7 right that's it so your answer will be 3 3 by 7 days so option 3 all these things you can do orally itself right Whenever you are solving questions, try to solve the question orally. At least half of the question should be solved orally. Then you have to approach the another half on paper. Don't unnecessarily use variables. Okay, This question will be complicated if you are using unitary method. Right? Now, let us solve our next question.
Our third question says, A alone can complete a work in 12 days. A and B together can complete it in 8 days. How long B will take to complete the work? Now see here, A completes in 12 days, A plus B in 8 days. So I'll assume my total work is 24 units. It will be 2 and 3. So efficiency of B will be 1. So answer for B will be 24 by 1, which is 24. That's it. Now see this, I'll solve it here. It says A can complete a work in 12 days. A plus B can complete the same work in 8 days. Now your question is how many days it will take for B alone to complete the work. First of all understand the question properly. Okay. Now what is the LCM of 12 and 8? So it will be 24. Anyway I will write it here. It will be 4 into 3. Now take this number. This is nothing but 4 into 2. Already 4 is there here. So don't include 4. So 2 is not there here. Right. I will write it here. 4 into 2 is nothing but 8. This 4 is already there here, right? So don't include this. Done. Now, 2 is there, right? Now, when that 4 is already included, it is cancelled here. Now, there won't be 2 left here, right? So you have to include this 2 here. That's it. So it will be 24. Now, so LCM is 24 units. Now, what is the efficiency of A? 24 by 12, which is 2. Efficiency of A plus B is nothing but 24 by 8, which is 3. See here, efficiency of A is 2, efficiency of A plus B is 3. What is the thing you are able to observe there? <clears throat> All the arithmetical operations will only be done on efficiencies, not on these times. Okay. Now see here, efficiency of A is 2, efficiency of A plus B is 3. From this, what you can understand is... Efficiency of B is 1. That's it. Agree? Done? So, we got the efficiency of B efficiency is nothing but 1. Now, you are asked to find what is the number of days B takes to complete 24 units. So, what is B days? B takes how many days? Total work by efficiency of B, which is 24 by 1, which is 24 days. That's it. Okay? That's it. Now, let's solve our fourth question. Question says, a and B together can complete a piece of work in 72 days, 72 days, B and C in 120 days, A and C together in 90 days. In what time can A alone complete the work? That's your question. See this. Here, you will understand the importance of LCM. A and B together can complete the work in 72 days. B plus C can complete the work in 120 days. C plus A can complete the work in 90 days. Your task is to find how many days A alone will complete the work. That's it. A days you have to find. Now, what is the LCM of 75, 120, 90? As I told you, don't use this method. 72, 120, 90. Don't do like this. Okay. This is waste of your time. Now you will appreciate the method which I taught you earlier. Start with a bigger number, 120. 120 is nothing but 40 into 3. That's it. 40 is nothing but 8 into 5. Write this 3 as well here. That's it. Okay. So 120, you split it as fractions. 8 into 5 into 3 is 120. Done. Next bigger number is 90. 90 is nothing but 9 into 10. Okay. 9 into 10. 9 is nothing but 3 into 3. 10 is nothing but 5 into 2. Okay. Now see here. This 5 is already there here. So cancel out this. Done. This 3 is already here. So cancel out this. Okay. We are left with 1 3. Now 3 is not there. Okay. This 3 is already this one. Take this 3 as this one. Take this 5 as this 5. Done. Now what about 2? Two? 2 is already hidden in 8. 8 is nothing but 4 into 2. So already we have 3 2's here. Here we have 1 2. So, need not include this 2 as well. Now, we just need to include this 3. This is missing. So, include this 3 here. Right? So, our present LCM is this one. Now, let us use this also. This is nothing but 8 9 is 72. 8 9 is 72. See here. This 8 is already included here. Cancel out this. 9 is nothing but 3 into 3. 3 into 3 is already there here. So cancel out this. So no new number can be included here. So your LCM is simple. Your LCM is, your total work is 
8 into 5 into 3 into 3. Okay, that's it. What is 8 into 5 into 3 into 3? We will write it at the end. I will tell you the reason for that as well. So leave it like this as of now. Now see this, what is the efficiency of A plus B? You see the advantage of solving LCM this way, you will appreciate the method now. First thing is you are able to solve the LCM easily. Secondly, whenever you are finding the efficiencies, since you already wrote time, your total time as the multiples of factors and even your total days as multiples of factors, it will be easy to find the efficiencies also, right? You need not again calculate like this, okay? Like uh, what is the total number? It was a 40 and 9, uh, 360, right? So 360 by 72, 360 by 120, 360 by 90, all that is not required. Now what you can do is see here, this is 8 into 5 into 9, this is 8 into 9. So when you divide, what is the efficiency of A plus B? This total work by 72. So instead of writing 360, this total number is 360, right? If it was a 40 into 9, 360. 360 by 72, instead of writing like this, what I will do is, here, I need not write all these things. I can directly look and I, will, I can tell the division also. This by 72 is nothing but 8 into 9, correct? So already, this bigger number is already simplified here. So 8 into 9, 8 into 9 cancel, 5 will be remaining. So you will write 5 here. Now, mind you, in exam, you need not write even this. When you are finding the LCM, you will write all these numbers, right? Then and there itself, you can cancel them. See here, 8, 5, 3, 3. Here, 8 into 9 is there. When you cancel them, you will automatically get 5 here. That's it, okay? Similarly here, we have 8, 5, 3, 3. And we have here, 8, 5, 3, 3. Everything one and the same. 8, 5, double 3. And we have here, this one. 120 means 40 into 3. 8 5 is a 40 into 3 already this number is already there so remaining number will be 3 that's it i'll show you here so what is the efficiency of b plus c 360 by 120 you know this is three times but uh, don't use this for now 360 is nothing but 8 into 5 into 3 into 3 120 is nothing but you wrote it here 40 into 3 3 3 cancel 40 8 into 5 cancel you will be left with 3 that's it that is what I have written there. Now here, 8, 5, 3, 3, this is 9 into 10. 9 into 10 means here 9, here 5 is there. From here you will take 2, so you will be left with 4. So 4 will be your efficiency. That's it, okay? Now see here, what is the efficiency of A plus B plus C? I told you, all arithmetic operations you will only do on efficiencies. Now see here, A plus B efficiency is 5. B plus C efficiency is 3, C plus A efficiency is 4. If you add them, addition is an arithmetical operation. If you add them, you will get 2A plus 2B plus 2C equal to 5 plus 4, 9, it is 12. Okay, total is 12. So A plus B plus C efficiency is nothing but 12 by 2, which is 6. So from this, what I can say is your efficiency of A plus B plus C is how much? 6. You want to find A days. So you want to find how many days A can complete the work. That means you know the total work. Now you should know the efficiency of A. So A plus B plus C is 6. And you know what is B plus C here? Efficiency of B plus C is 3. This is equation 1. This is equation 2. Subtract them. B C B B cancel C C cancel you will get A is equal to 3 that's it so you got the efficiency of A efficiency of A is nothing but 3 so what is A days A days is nothing but total work by efficiency of A which is 120 that's it 120 days this is your answer simple now even this question you can solve orally how now 72 120 90 is there uh, at least for calculating LCM, you will write this. Otherwise, if you are comfortable with LCM also, you can directly solve that. So, once I got this step, uh, rest of the things you can do orally only, right? Half of the question you are writing, half of the things you will solve orally. The way to solve orally is, A plus B plus C will be 12 by 2, 6, that's it. B plus C is already 3. So, A plus B plus C minus B minus C will be uh, total uh, 6 by minus 3, you will get 3. So, efficiency of A is 3, 
total ever total days of year will be 360 by 3 which is 120 that's it okay not a tough question very easy question right here you should learn lcm right how to calculate lcm easily how to calculate efficiencies easily that's it now let us solve our next question a fifth question says while working seven hours a day a alone can complete a work a piece of work in six days and b alone in eight days that means b is also working for seven hours a day now in what time would they complete it together right underline that together working eight hours a day now see this when they're working for seven hours a day a individually takes six hours six days b takes eight days when they work together uh, in the condition that they're working seven hours per day it will take six eight means 24 four so it will be 24 by seven that's it so half of the question is solved we got 24 by 7 now when it is 27 hours 24 by 7 8 means 24 by 7 into 7 by 8 you will get 3 so your answer will be 3 that's it okay now see this while working the condition is 7 hours per day right so assume that a is working 7 hours every day b is also working 7 hours every day in this particular scenario a is taking how many days to complete the work six days b is taking how many days eight days the work is not given so assume that your total work is lcm of six and eight lcm six and eight is 24 efficiency of a will be 24 by 6 4 efficiency of b will be 24 by 8 3 that's it now when they are working seven hours per day how many days a and b together can finish the work so under this scenario they can finish the work together in total work by efficiency of a plus b combined efficiency is seven right so when they are working for seven hours every day right a plus b takes how many days to complete the work 24 by 7 days that's it now your question is when they are working if instead of 7 hours per day now this time the second scenario is they are working 8 hours every day 8 hours per day okay this time what will be your answer that is your question that's it simple now see here i'll tell you a logic earlier 7 hours every day they are working now 8 hours every day they are working now when they are working for more hours again think in a logical sense right general sense if uh, every day you're working more hours your work will be done quickly right you will take less number of days to complete the work right now see what will be this question mark so what you will do is this question mark answer will depend on this numbers right now see here the concept is called multiplication factor whole of arithmetic i'll be teaching with this particular concept multiplication factor is nothing but the way the numbers are changing you will monitor how two numbers are changing that's it okay see this what is this question mark question mark is nothing but you take the this number 24 by 7 right 24 by 7 into something you have to do this particular thing this particular question mark will depend on this one so earlier you are taking 24 by 7 days and now you need to find how many days it will take now current scenario right so earlier you are taking 24 by 7 now second case it might increase or decrease correct now see here earlier it is 24 by 7 days now now you know that it should decrease right because earlier you're working only seven hours every day now you're working eight hours every day now what happens is your final answer will actually derive from this only right your final answer should be either more than uh, 24 by 7 or it should be either less than 24 by 7 correct now you know that it should definitely be less than 24 by 7 that means you need to multiply 24 by 7 with a lesser number okay and that number will depend on these two numbers right now see here earlier it is 7 now it is 8 if you take 8 by 7 what happens 8 by 7 is 1 point something so if you multiply any number with a value greater than 1 i told you this in number system 0 to 1 in a number line 
this is a special zone right what is the specialty of that zone you take any number between 0 and 1 and multiply you take any number and multiply that number between 0 and 1 the value will decrease you take any number after 1 okay if you take any number okay let it be 32 32 you multiply with any number after 1 its value will increase final value will increase for example i'll take 2 okay after 1 you will have 2 right its value will be 64 that means 32 is actually becoming 64 now if i take any number between 0 and 1 i'll take 1.5 so if i take 32 as my random number and i will multiply with any value between 0 and 1 i'm taking 1 by 2 see here its value is decreasing right similarly your final answer will decrease should decrease why because you're working for more days right and your answer will always lie on these numbers i'll tell you the reason as well just hold for a minute so instead of writing 8 by 7 you have to write 7 by 8 what is 7 by 8 7 by 8 is nothing but 0 point something so this falls under this range so you know that your final answer must be less than 24 by 7 so what you will do is 24 by 7 into 7 by 8 you have to write not 8 by 7 so cancel 8 goes 3 times that's it so your answer will be 3 days that's it okay now say this i want to tell you some concept here now suppose i have a number 3 okay i have a number 3 my 3 is becoming 4 let us suppose i have 3 and the new value of 3 is 4 tell me with what number should i multiply 3 so that i will get 4 i have to multiply 3 with 4 by 3 agree i have to multiply 3 with 4 by 3 then only i'll get 4 here 3 3 cancel you get 4 now this 4 by 3 is called multiplication factor this will tell you a lot of things when we cover percentages ratio proportions we will discuss this concept heavily so from this 4 by 3 what i can say is when 3 is increased by 33.33 percent you will get 4 that is the meaning of that okay for now don't worry about that now similarly see here in books what you will see is the proportionality thing in books what you will learn is directly proportion or indirectly proportion now i don't want to discuss those things right we are going conceptually don't mug up directly proportion indirectly proportion all these things are irrelevant okay simple your logic is simple earlier seven hours per day they're working that time you are taking 24 by 7 days now they are working 7 hours per day, 8 hours per day. That means your answer must be definitely less than 24 by 7. So with what factor it will reduce? 24 by 7 must be reduced by some factor. Always this reduction factor will be in terms of multiplication only. Okay. Now, so your final answer will be 24 by 7 must be reduced by some number. What is that number? That will be 7 by 8 okay 7 is becoming 8 how is 7 becoming 8 7 is becoming 8 how 7 becomes 8 7 should be multiplied with 8 by 7 correct 7 should be multiplied with 8 by 7 now what happens is this 8 by 7 is called multiplication factor now if you see the relation your number of hours increases means the number of days will decrease that means this number should be multiplied with multiplication factors inverse you should not take this number as it is instead you have to take the inverse of that so you will take 7 by 8 that's it okay so anyway don't worry about this this concept again uh, so again and again we'll be discussing at many places for now just remember this one earlier it is 24 by 7 days now it should definitely be less than 24 by 7 days and what you're trying to do is you're trying to reduce this 24 by 7 in terms of multiplication right in terms of multiplication factor so earlier 7 it is now becoming 8 so what is the multiplication factor it is 8 by 7 7 becoming 8 means multiplication factor will be 8 by 7 now the relation is inverse right if number of hours increases number of days should decrease right number of working hours increases means number of days should decrease so for this 24 by 7 the multiplication factor will not be 8 by 7 since this is inversely proportion you have to take 7 by 8 that is one way of analyzing this 
The second way of analyzing this is earlier it is 24 by 7 days. Now you know the answer must be less than 24 by 7 days. So 24 by 7 into into you have to multiply by some number which which will be less than 1. How can you get a number less than 1 from 7 and 8? You have to divide 7 by 8 or 8 by 7. 8 by 7 means it will be 1 point something. 7 by 8 means it will be less than 1. So directly you can write it like this. That's it. Okay. So I have explained you both the logics. The way you have to solve using multiplication factor or the analysis of this way. Multiplying a number with a number range from 0 and 1. That's it. Right?